Hi guys, and welcome back to another edition of Sample Saturday. I don't have a whole bunch in this little pouch today, but I do have a few things to talk about. The first are these Sephora watermelon cleansing wipes. <sighs> these were kind of disappointing. They do smell nice because they do have that watermelon in them. But the problems that I found were one, the pads are, they're very small. They're about this big. So I've been using two of them a night to finish cleaning off all of my makeup and making sure that it's, my face is really clean. So I don't like that aspect of it. And it just, they feel like they don't clean quite enough for, for what I want. So we're not purchase these again, but I'm glad that I only have two left. So they'll be gone tonight. Next is from Tony Moly. This was in my Ipsy bag. This is the Vital Vita 12 Jelly Quen Cleanser. Um, it's interesting. At first I didn't like it. It's grown on me a little bit this week. A little goes a long way. That's all I will say. Like I've had way too much soap most of the week trying to pare back how much I actually need to use because it is really concentrated um, as a cleanser. Then we have these from Bath and Body Works. We have shampoo and conditioner in the coconut lime verbena. I wouldn't buy these. I felt like the conditioner wasn't conditioning enough and the shampoo stripped my hair a little bit. I felt like it was too squeaky clean, which is not something I usually find, but I just felt like it left my hair a little bit dry. I did use these twice, which is pretty amazing for me, but I also used the Matrix twice. This is the So Long Damage Shampoo and Conditioner. I like them both. I will say this time I did an extra day, like an extra night before I washed my hair because I usually shower at night, but I could tell today, like the shampoo was just not quite cutting it today with an extra night's worth of grease. So that's something that I would keep in mind if you are gonna get it and you get have really greasy hair in the first place, it might um, not be enough for you. Then the last things that I have are all perfumes. I decided to try some of my perfumes and try to like cycle some of them out so that I can get rid of some of all of the perfume samples I have because I have a lot. Most of these I've worn twice. There is one that I've tested out before like in store so I didn't wear it twice because there's not eight days in a week. But the first one is Wild Poppy by Nest Fine Fragrances. These four were all in the recent Sephora Favorites kit. This one is very nice. It is sweet but not like sicky sweet, but it does, ha it was surprisingly sweet to me because I was thinking it was going to be more of a florally, florally scent, but I did like this one. I would consider purchasing this one. The only thing I didn't quite like about it and the next one I'm going to talk about is that I didn't feel like it was long lasting enough. Like that's the one thing I wish it would have a longer staying powder power because I felt like I needed to reapply like halfway through the day. The other one I really loved, and this one I am definitely gonna get, is the Atelier Cologne in Pacific Lime. Oh my goodness, if you like citrus, go sample the Pacific Lime. It is so good. Of all the Atelier Colognes, this is probably my favorite now because it's not as orangey as the other ones, like the Clementine and stuff. This one is just so good. It reminds me of a key lime pie, even though it's a Pacific lime and not a key lime pie, pie or key lime. It just has that sharpness to it. And I really liked it. It's, it's, it's really good. That one, I would definitely, that one's on my list to purchase next because I just really liked it. Then we had the Prada Candy Night. I decided to wear this one again today. It does last longer than those other two. Like both of those, I felt like I needed to reapply halfway through the day. I didn't, but I wanted to. This one has a longer staying power, but it also, it's, it's the same thing that I had problems that I had with the original product candy is that they're a little more powdery in a scent rather than sweet. And that's the same thing I feel like with this one. Although when you first spray it on, I feel like it has kind of like, a decaying scent to it like it just feels like something is decaying like the powder is decaying not in a bad way but I was trying to figure out how to explain it it's just it's a 
it's different and I'm not ready for it. I don't, this one is not my favorite. I think I'm going to pass this along. Uh, my friend Patricia does perfumes too, and I would like to see what she thinks about it. There should be enough for her to test it out a couple times too. So watch out for that, Patricia. When you get your next box, you're going to have that one in it. And then the other one that I want to purchase is the C Fiore by Giorgio Armani. I like the Passione, I have the Passione, but this one is just a little sweeter, it's, but it smells so good. It has a good staying power. It's not, it's longer lasting than the first two that I talked about, but yeah, this is another one that I definitely am putting on my wish list. So not a lot of samples. I That's been the couple past couple weeks because I'm still finishing up things, so I only try to pull out samples when I finish the thing that I've used before it or I've passed along the sample or I'm like my mom is using the cleanser my last cleanser that I talked about so yeah a few things perfumes I found some good perfumes that I like the rest of it was kind of meh I wouldn't purchase any of the other stuff let me know what you've been using how are you doing how is your life going it's October already are you, what are your plans for Halloween? Let me know those down below. I hope you are having a fantastic day and I can't wait to talk to you next time. Bye.